Good morning, folks. It is Sunday, July 7th, 2013, and uh, I'm making this video as a response to a video by my new Twitter follower, uh, Bobby Powell. How you doing, Bobby? Um, obviously, you know, you and I have been talking briefly in tweets about uh, Adam Kokesh, and uh, I wanted to give you a few of my different views on uh, this whole thing that seems to be going on between you and him. Now, I read the Daily Paul pretty often, and, and uh, it so happens I was looking for, I, I did a search for Adam Kokesh and uh, his work with Code Pink, because that's something that you referenced, so I wanted to I wanted to have a uh, understanding of what it was that I was talking about before I came into this, and and what popped up was your article uh, of the march on Washington being a trap. Now I, I saw your analysis, your bridge analysis, and I got to say, as a civilian, um, makes perfect sense everything you said about you know walking across the bridge and how uh, I I think that Adam Kokesh was well aware of the vulnerability and well obviously he knew uh, he knows the law and he knows that he committed a felony and he knows that uh, being a felon <coughs> would take you right to bear arms and um, I think ultimately that's that played a role in why he went into Washington by himself okay uh, I, I, I think he displayed that you know he, he was willing to do it by himself. Um, look, I don't. I don't think anyone has all the right answers when it comes to how we're going to deal with this government. And uh, frankly, I think an act of civil disobedience is, is needed from time to time. Uh, you know, we've seen it in the past. <coughs> um, Yes, was was it a was it a risk walking into Washington? Uh, in, I'm sorry, into Washington D.C. armed? Absolutely. Uh, was their life at risk? Yeah, pro it probably was. It's a, do I think that it was probable that there was going to be a bloodbath? You know, we we could just go back and speculate on and on. Um, I think that if there was some sort of conflict there that uh, it would be very bad for the Obama administration right now uh, in, the, in, the, uh, in the wake of recent events. I mean, you can't even count the scandals on one hand that's coming from this president. So, basically, you know, I, I, I su let me just say this. I support what Adam did. I see it as an act of civil disobedience, and I disagree with you, sir, that you know, on the one hand, you said how foolish it was, and and you made a very, you made a very good case as to why it was you know why it was a mistake, and um, but then on the other hand, when he goes and does it by himself, you know you're not happy with that either. I don't think there's anything that this fellow marine could do that you would have agreed with, and maybe you can agree with me when I say that. Um, <coughs> I'm looking at some of your your positions on him and, and some of the things that you have problems with him um, I support and I think that many people that go on the Daily Paul would support um, you know you talk about the the uh, the Vietnam the, the Vietnam Wall and everything and any American that that, that knows about the, uh, the Freedom of Information Act can go look up the Gulf of Tonkin incident and we now know that it didn't happen according to the way that our government told us that it happened. Um, we now know that we went to Vietnam under false pretenses and we know that these tactics are used over and over again. We know that the War Powers Act is unconstitutional and we know that our government uh, will find reasons to keep this country at war. We've been in a state of emergency since the end of World War II. Um, <coughs> I, I'm trying to understand 
what your positions are, sir. Because, you know, I, I saw the, the, the video that you made about Lil Wayne stepping on the flag. And I gotta, I gotta tell you, it upset me too. It upset me immensely. It upset me immensely. But, I'm, I'm just wondering if, if you don't have some unchecked nationalism, sir. Because, you know, there are th th you said, as you said, there's a lot wrong with our government. But do you know how people around the world see that flag right now? After our government, the Obama administration, has bombed innocent women and children by predator drone. Do you know how that flag is seen? I imagine that in the Middle East, people look at that flag with the same hatred that I grew up looking at the Nazi flag or the communist flag or the communist China flag that flag is being desecrated by our own government what Obama and what Bush and Clinton and Bush have done in the name of that flag has done more to desecrate more to desecrate that flag than what Lil Wayne did. And uh, I despise Lil Wayne. I, you know, uh, I, I tweeted a few things at him. I'll share it with you at a, at a later time. Um, I guess, you know, I, I have three children. Um, my oldest will be seven on Halloween. My son, my middle child, he'll be six just after Christmas, and my baby daughter will be uh, two in September. So, where I don't have the same dog in the fight that you do, or maybe Adam Kokesh, I have a stake in this. And I would rather go face tyrants in Washington, D.C., and risk whatever comes than face them at my door with my family's life at peril because we all saw what the United States government um, how they deal with their own people when they're in the crosshairs uh, like at you know Ruby Ridge we saw what happened at Waco Texas <coughs> and uh, I don't know what it's gonna take I, I know that we can't get 33 million people to get up off their butts here in the United States like, like they did in Egypt. Um, I don't agree with everything that Adam Kokesh does, sir. But I'll tell you this. I see that he inspires people to get involved and to take notice of what the government's doing. And uh, it's kind of sad for me to see you know, someone like yourself going after him. And, you know, the things that you say here on, I'm looking at Daily Paul, uh, you're tying him to Hamas and Hezbollah. Sir, you need to present your evidence. If this is your blog and you want to you, you want to be seen as, as credible, you need to, I, I need to see links here of, of how, the, how he's working with Hamas and Hezbollah. Um, as for Cindy Sheen, she's a grieving mother who lost her child and uh, I don't I don't I don't lump her in the same uh, category as Obama I see her as working against Obama so you know I don't really have a problem with Adam Kokesh work with Cindy Cindy Sheen uh, as far as the Vietnam War sir it was fought under false pretenses and we lost 68,000 Americans wrongfully wrongfully because the military industrial complex that President Dwight D. Eisenhower warned us about. He's finding reasons to take this country to war. Took us to Iraq on false pretenses. Fought secret wars throughout <coughs> South America. Funded by CIA drug money. We now know that, sir. So, you know, when somebody... It, it's been said that when tyranny becomes law, rebellion becomes duty. So... I'm a little confused when you when you disavow um, Adam Kokesh's call for a march on DC and then when he takes all the risk on himself it's almost like you're 
it's almost like you can't wait to see the guy get arrested. You want to see him go down. And I'm going to address something else that, that you went after, too. And that was the, um, the smoke down President Chum at the White House. Um, the, the war on drugs wouldn't exist if it wasn't for a war on marijuana. Um, I, I agree. No victim, no crime. I think people can, I don't, I don't need a nanny state. We, the people, don't need a nanny state to tell us what we can and cannot do with our bodies. We only have a drug problem because the CIA uh, ran drugs into the United States. We, we have uh, Associated Press releases of CIA planes crashing with four tons of cocaine, sir. Okay? Um, there is a lot wrong with our government. And, you know, to take Adam Kokesh and, and, and try to say that he's working with Obama, I, I, I see the guy is sincere. Okay? And I see him engaging in acts of civil disobedience, pushing the envelope to see w how far we can go with nonviolent revolution. Something's got to give. Something has got to give in this country. And it's not going to be the American people. It's going to be the government one way or another. So when people talk about taking down the government and changing the government, I see them as, as, as uh, patriots. Would George Washington say Adam Kokesh was an anarchist and, and, and look towards seeing him um, seeing him uh, charged with a felony because he because he uh, exercised his Second Amendment right in Washington D.C. I highly doubt it. And you know, you said that you said that uh, that we won the Second Amendment battle. No, sir. No, we have not won the Second Amendment battle. Because if we don't have the Constitution in its entirety, we don't have any of it. If there's just one chink in the armor, if there's just one weak spot, if there's just one... If we, if we have the hobby horse of, of, of free speech, or we have the hobby horse of the Second Amendment, or the Fourth Amendment... No, we need that whole, that whole ball of wax intact or we don't have any of it I, I don't know sir I hope that uh, you know truth comes to light one way or another and uh, just like Edward Snowden exposed uh, what was going on with the NSA. Um, people around the world now know what's going on. So, um, it's only a matter of time. Uh, the way things are going are unsustainable. And we need acts of civil disobedience. We need people like Adam Kokesh. And we need people like Bobby Powell waking people up, inspiring them to action. Okay? Uh, I think you, uh, I think you misread Adam Kokesh. He, you know, he's not, not calling for violence. You know, he's not. Nobody wants that. I don't think he wants to. I think he's willing to die. I don't think he wants to die. I think there's a difference there. Um, you know, should you should should Adam address you? That's that's up to him. But um, I'm addressing you now because uh, I want to let you know that, you know, what, hold on a second. Hey, Mike, I'm talking, buddy. Come on. I'm addressing you now because uh, while I agree, while I agree that, um, you know, they were making a dangerous move and I agreed with your analysis, I disagree with your analysis of him and uh, I hope that in the long run, I hope we win this battle. I hope we win this battle peacefully. Um, remember, it was John F. Kennedy who said, those who make peaceful revolution impossible, make violent revolution inevitable. So, God bless America. And uh, God bless...